A 25-year-old Malian woman has given birth to nine babies, two more than doctors had detected during scans. Halima Sisse gave birth to the nonuplets in Morocco. Mali's government flew her there for specialist care. I'm very happy, her husband said. My wife and the babies, five girls and four boys, are doing well. A woman who had eight babies in the U.S. in 2009 holds the Guinness World Record for the most children delivered at a single birth to survive. Two sets of nonuplets have previously been recorded, one born to a woman in Australia in 1971 and another to a woman in Malaysia in 1999 but none of the babies survived more than a few days. World record holder Nadia Suleiman's octuplets have grown up and are now 12 years old. She conceived them through in vitro fertilization. Fanta Sibi, Mali's health minister, congratulated the medical teams in Mali and Morocco for the happy outcome. Professor Youssef Aleoui, medical director of the Ain Boya Clinic in Casablanca where Ms. Sisse gave birth said that the case was extremely rare, it's exceptional and a team of 10 doctors and 25 paramedics had assisted at the delivery of the premature babies. They weighed between 500 g and 1 kg, 1.1 pound and 2.2 pound and would be kept in incubators for 2 to 3 months, he said. Ms. Sisse's pregnancy became a subject of fascination in Mali, even when it was thought she was only carrying septuplets. Doctors in the West African nation had been concerned for her welfare and the chances of the baby's survival, so the government intervened. After a two-week stay in a hospital in Mali's capital, Bamako, the decision was made to move Ms. Sisse to Morocco on the 30th of March, Dr. Sibi said. After five weeks at the Moroccan clinic, she gave birth by caesarean section on Tuesday, the minister said. According to Professor Ayla Oui, Ms. Sisse was 25 weeks pregnant when admitted and his team had managed to extend her term to 30 weeks. Her husband, adjutant Kader Arbi, is still in Mali with the couple's older daughter, but he says he has been in constant touch with his wife in Morocco and is not worried about the family's future. God gave us these children. He is the one to decide what will happen to them. I'm not worried about that. When the Almighty does something, he knows why. He says the family have been overwhelmed by the support they have received. Everybody called me. Everybody called. The Malian authorities called expressing their joy. I thank them. Even the President called me.